in my previous video showing the GPS setup, I skipped over a few steps just to kind of give a basic overview of the GPS sensor. In this video, I'm going to show a little bit more in depth of how to set up the GPS sensor with a screen widget that displays the map and GPS position on the map. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go into the model setup and go to RF system and bind up the TDSR10 receiver. So I'll select the internal module. For the protocol, I'll choose TD mode and I need to turn the state to on. Scroll down a little bit to the register button. Register. And now while I'm holding the button in on the receiver, I'm going to plug in my SBEC here. Register. Register. And you'll see it shows up as the TDSR10. So I'll click register. The light starts flashing, so I know that the registration has succeeded. It'll say also registration OK. Next, I'm just going to power cycle the receiver. So I'll unplug it and click on RX1 to bind. bind. And just plugging in the receiver now without holding the button. You see it shows up as TDSR10. Bind. And now the bind is OK. I have the blinking blue LED, which indicates that it's a successful bind. If you notice that there's a, another LED, yellow LED flashing, that is just the gyro inside of the receiver because this is a stabilized receiver. The next step is to program one of the pins to be F bus so I can connect the GPS sensor. So I'll click on TDSR10, options, and in this case I'm just going to set pin number 10 to F bus. Oops, F bus and hit return back out and again I, in order for that to take effect I'm just going to power cycle the unit now I can connect the GPS into the pin number 10 as you can see here I have the yellow going to the S and black going to the ground. And on the receiver, it's also labeled for pin number 10. So with the GPS plugged in, now I can scroll to telemetry page turn on the discover new sensors you can see my GPS data is already starting to come in now the GPS data is not going to populate until I actually have a fix which I may not get inside of the building so now that I have my GPS discovered on the sensors list, I'm going to create the map model file and copy it to the radio. So on the top of the radio, I'm just going to connect the USB, USB cable. And I'll select Ethos Suite. On my computer, I just have Google pulled up on my web browser. I'm going to go to the website hobby 4 
dot nl and over here on the left you see the ethos GPS widget map generator so I'll click on that it will bring you up an interactive map and in this case I'll find one of the local flying fields so I'll center up the flying field that I would like to have displayed where I generally fly which is in this area up here you can see that it's you can choose full screen or with the title bar in this case I'm just going to choose the full screen option I'll scroll down and I can change the map name usually I name this as the flying field which in this case is El Dorado and I'll click go this downloaded a new a new file called eldo.zip which I'll open now and inside is the eldo.bmp an instructions.txt and a map1.lua file. You can ignore the Lua file, I don't use that. The two files that you need are the eldo.bitmap and instructions.txt. For the eldo.bitmap, this one you need to copy to your radio under bitmaps GPS. You can see there's probably going to be a default paris.bitmap I just delete that one because I never use Paris I'll go back to Eldo and move that to bitmaps and then into GPS so you want your map file to be under bitmaps GPS next I'm just gonna open up the instructions.txt so it will display on the screen the latitude and longitude now on my radio I'm going to disconnect the USB Fail safe, not set. Switch warning. and just click OK warning. for this warning and now I'll add a new screen which is this button here or you can also click display the plus button at the top will add a new screen I'm gonna choose full screen which is what I chose for my bitmap option I'll say change the widget GPS map configure for the GPS, you select your GPS sensor. For the map, you choose your map file. And here's where you can key in the latitude and longitude from the text file. From the instructions.txt file. So I'll click on the latitude and I need to enter 33, 49, 35.5. So 33, 49. 
35.5. I'll go to the next and this one needs to be 33 north so I'll keep going past zero you'll see south turn into north and I'll keep scrolling 33 49 20.1 Next, I'll enter the two longitude values, 118, 531 west, so 118, 5, 31 and you can see if you start scrolling the wrong way it will increase now I'm at 11806 so I actually need to go the other direction 118 531 west and I'm just using the scroll wheel here to key these in 31 west okay and now for the second longitude this one will also be a west value 118 so I need to go all the way past zero it'll turn to west and keep scrolling 118, 5, 0 0.1 west. So now that I have the GPS sensor selected, the bitmap map selected, and all of the longitudes and la latitude and longitude entered, as soon as my GPS starts getting coordinates, as long as I'm at my field, right now I'm not at the field, but once it starts picking up coordinates like this, it will display on the map. To access the map, you can push this middle button or you can just scroll over until you get to your map. So again, I'm not at my field, so I'm not showing up my GPS dot here. But if I was at the field, it would show the GPS position on this map as I'm flying. Next time I go out flying, I'll put this in my plane and I'll make a quick video to show how it tracks the GPS position on the map.